Not long ago, we walked into a high school and we were admiring the trophy case. Most of them have it somewhere around the gym or maybe close to the office. And in that case, there's all these trophies that have a little tag on them. They tell the date and they tell uh, what the trophy is about. And the team that, that won that, the year, the division. Sometimes there's a picture of the team and the coaches associated with that, that one state or one district, whatever the trophy is for. Or maybe you walk into somebody's house and they're a hunter and hanging on the wall is a big mount of a bull elk or a really nice buck deer that they're hanging on their wall. And whenever you do that, what you call those is trophies. You see those and you think about trophies. Well, God has a trophy case and Ephesians tells us about it in chapter 2 and verse 7. It says that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. We are God's trophies because he has accomplished something and we are set on display for the ages to come to show what it is that he has accomplished because in Christ he has shown us his exceeding riches. He has poured out his exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us in Christ. Paul goes on to describe this. He says, for by grace, that grace that, that God has shown to us, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Now, think about it. When you go into somebody's house and you see that big bull elk there on the wall and you ask about that trophy, that opens up the conversation for the hunter to give you the gory details of every minute of that particular hunt and how he came to get that elk. Or if you're hanging out at the high school gym and, and you're standing around the trophy case and you look at the picture there and you see one of those guys in the picture, he's older now, and you ask him about it, well, he could tell you about that season and how that team worked together, or maybe the coach, and how that team worked together to accomplish that and to win that season. Well, you see, there's nobody in heaven that's going to be bragging about how they got there. That's, that's what it says, not of works, lest any man should boast. Nobody in heaven is going to be bragging about how they got there. You see, we are the trophy. God is going to be putting us on display to say that he accomplished something and we're going to give him praise and glory and we are going to talk about the exceeding riches of his grace and kindness which he showed us in Christ because God is the one who has accomplished something. So when you look at a believer in Jesus, what you are looking at is a trophy of God's grace. You are looking at somebody who does not deserve to go to heaven. You are looking at someone who has not achieved or accomplished a righteous life. You are looking at somebody who's going to heaven because of the kindness of God, because of the exceeding riches of the grace of God. You are looking at someone who has received a very, very, very expensive gift and has received that gift that grace of God by faith. That's who you're looking at. And so if you're going to brag on that, you got to brag on God. He's the one who's accomplished it. You got to brag on the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one who went to the cross. He's the one who poured out his riches and grace on us. He's the one who's shown us kindness. We're just the recipients. We're, we're just the trophies. We're, we're the ones who demonstrate the fact that God can take a sinner and because of his incredible grace, he can forgive us and he can give us a gift, <laughs> the most incredible gift that anyone could ever receive. And so I, I want you to think about that whenever you uh, think about God's trophy case. When you look at a Christian, brag about God because he is the one who did all the work and he's the one who has given us this incredible gift, the exceeding abundance, the riches of his grace and kindness toward us in Christ. There's no other way to get to God than through Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great day.